ClearTechInfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, I will show you how to view your important Windows computer system information using Speccy. Speccy is a free program. With any Google search bar or go to google.com, just type in S-P-E-C-C-Y and search for that. The first or second option should bring up this website. Go to that website. Scroll towards the bottom, or you can just click download up here. But when you get to the download page, they give you two options the installer and portable. Installer installs it on your computer, and the portable does not install it to your computer whatsoever. It just throws it into a folder, open it up into your memory. You could also take the portable version to your friend's house via a USB stick, run it off of the USB stick. But really, it's your preference. Click the download link, click save file, Once it is downloaded, it go to that download folder. I'm using Firefox, so if, if you have Firefox, just right click here, click open continue folder. And then close all the windows behind it. Now right click the file, choose extract all, or extract it with whatever program you have. This is just a stock extraction program within Windows 7. It'll ask you exactly where you want to download it to. I'll just leave the default location and click extract. So there it is. Without installing it to anywhere, you can just double click it and it'll throw it into your system RAM and run the program. And it will not install itself onto your computer whatsoever. You have to be patient on this opening screen. It could take anywhere from 30 seconds to two and a half minutes on your computer the first time you run it. On the summary screen, which is a screen you're seeing, give you the summary on your specs. Currently I have a Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit installed on this computer. Here is my CPU info, how much RAM I have, the company that it's from, and more specs on it. My motherboard, graphics, or video card, same thing. I have a GeForce 9600 GT on this computer. The hard drives, I have one hard drive right now on this system. It's 300 gigabytes from Seagate. The optical drive, which is a CD or DVD-ROM drive or writer. Currently, it's a Lydon DVD-RW. My sound card or audio card, currently Creative X5 sound card. Up here, you can check out the specs to get more further details on anything listed. Operating system. CPU, RAM, it would give you details on the RAM that's installed on every single slot. Motherboard gives you more details on your motherboard. Your graphics or video card, also your monitor. Here it will tell you the exact resolution that you're using on your monitor and more info on your video card. Hard drive to give you more detailed info on your hard drive. Optical drive which is your CD or DVD or W. Sound card and peripherals. In case you're asking me for help on ClearTech Info or anywhere, I always need to know your operating system, CPU, and RAM info. If I were asking some tech for help, I would have to tell him or her that I'm using Windows 7, using the ultimate version as opposed to Home or Pro or other or whatever other version is out there. 
and I'm also using a 32-bit version of it. I would have to tell that tech that I'm using an Intel Core 2 Dual E8500 CPU. I would also tell them that I have 4 gigabytes of RAM. If you are asking for help and it's relating to games, installing games, not compatible, something's wrong with your game, I really have to know the graphics card you are using. On this setup, I would just tell the tech person I have a GeForce 9600 GT. Never mind this part right here, something's wrong with that amount of megabytes of RAM. So just go to graphics up here and this would display the correct amount of memory. Physical memory is what you want to tell me. How much physical memory it actually has installed in the graphics card. In this case it would be 512 megabytes of physical memory on your graphics card. And the graphics card is listed here. GeForce 9600 GT. GeForce is made from Nvidia. That's what I need to know in case you're asking for help. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.